Who's the best? Who's the best? Hmm? What? Where's my belly? Where's my belly? Can I have kisses? Can I have some healing kisses, please? Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. I love you. <laughs> How much do I love the girl? How much? How much? How much? This is the best medicine to heal a heart. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday to all of you. Such a beautiful day here in Florida. A nice, cool breeze. The dogs are absolutely loving the time, the love. As you can see, they're very grateful. <laughs> Mommy is just loving, loving the cuddles, the kisses. I slept here last night um, with Mommy Angel and just kind of rotated my time throughout the rescue house from room to room just to give everybody lots of love and affection. One baby is just more loving and affectionate than the next. Hi, Mommy. Huh? I'd like to say thank you to PM Rob for showing up this morning, um, for helping me and getting all the babies out. We had a, a nice morning together with coffee, and she took everybody for nice long walks. Mommy Angel loves her walks. Did you make a big poopy for Pammy on your walk this morning? Yes, when you had your breakfast and you had some backyard time. Brownie was spayed yesterday and had her dew claws removed yesterday. Um, I spent a lot of time in her room last night, cuddling her and rubbing her. She's doing great this morning. Alexa off, excuse me. And uh, I take her cone off, her soft cone, before I take her outside because she's stepping all over it. And little Chip is right there by her side comforting her. So... Uh, Tiffany, in answer to your question, Brownie is doing great. Um, Gage and Godiva are on fire this morning. They were zooming all over the place last night and this morning. And thank you to my wife, Carol, for coming with me last night to get Godiva out on a nice long walk. Um, she loves her late night walks and she made a big poopy on her walk. So everybody's great. Everybody's great. Um, I've got Shelly and Keith coming to the rescue house today to help me cover um, Zoe's on her way also to help me and I will be heading home probably around 11 o'clock this morning to jump in a shower and then head to our fundraiser. We have a fundraiser today from 11 to 4 at Tats and Tacos in Fort Lauderdale. It is a uh, $5 donation and you get a dollar off of every beer um, at the and they have food so we hope to uh, make this a once a month thing. They want us there every month. <clears throat> um, and it's just to help, you know, keep our mission going and raise some funds. And I wanted to um, talk about Alfie a little bit. Um, yesterday was a very, very, very hard day for myself, for the team. Uh, Tiffany and I uh, shut down the rescue house from probably um, 12 to 3. And we um, went to say our goodbye to Alfie. Uh, I saw a lot of questions um, on the video that I posted um, mm -hmm. while we were at the Coral Springs Animal Hospital. And I didn't want to go into all the details because at that moment, I wanted to focus on showing Alfie all the love. And I can guarantee you, um, when we shut down the camera, we did nothing but kiss his little head, look into his eyes till he took his very, very last breath, which was very, very peaceful for him. Um, and he knew nothing but love to the last second of his life um, here with us. And it was probably, it is, it wasn't probably, it is one of the hardest things to do in rescue is to have to let go and know that there's nothing you can do to help save a little life when you had the intentions of nothing but the complete opposite. Um, we know from experience that almost 4,000 lives uh, rescued and saved that there is nothing we will not do for our rescues when we put our hands on them and make them a promise. So for us, it was extremely difficult swallowing that pill and, and 
having no other options but to let go. Um, we went over in great lengths with the doctors, with the surgeons, and there was nothing that could do we could do to save him. There's no amount of money, um, no amount of love that could have saved Alfie's life. And what we did was give him the gift of letting go is peace. It's the humane thing to do. He would have had zero quality life, 99.9% um, .9 zero quality of life. Everything in his little body was completely shattered, misplaced. His bladder was outside of the wall. It was... Uh, didn't know if they could repair it. They thought he would be incontinent. If he would even have feeling, they would have to amputate one of the legs. Didn't know if he would compensate on the other side. And they said that there is no amount of pain medication or fentanyl patch that would be able to help him get through that process if we decided to start with surgery. So I will not and will never let an animal suffer in pain. Um, and that is when we made the decision to let Alfie go. Now, looking at his little face and his little fuzzy hairs on the top of his head and his beautiful, beautiful brown eyes um, and his little soul looking in deep into our souls was so difficult, guys. It was so horrible, horrible. Um, still really, really having a hard time. I know we did the right thing, but it still is so difficult. It's such a horrible, hard place to be in. Um, but he's in peace and he's not suffering. He's not in any pain. And we had to give him that gift. So um, that is where we are with Alfie. And within our team, we have to just, you know, push forward and keep going um, because so many other animals and so many other suffering souls like him need our help. And Without us, um, there is just, there's no help. There's no way we can save them. If we're not strong and we don't keep going and if we break and crack, we can't help anybody. So I appreciate all of you that are, you know, feeling our pain and sending us prayers and love because the kind words of support, they mean so very much to us. Um, there are no words to describe how much your love and support means to us. Honestly, please know that from my heart and my deep in my soul that how much we appreciate you. Um, it means everything to us. And I know that if there was a chance that you would have been right there for us to save his life. So thank you. Um, on another note, I'm just getting my morning cuddles with this beautiful, beautiful baby girl, Angel. Um, Angel is ready for her to find her forever home. She is perfectly perfection in every single way. Um, I, I don't know how I can describe this girl to you. I am so in love with her and she needs to find her own very own forever home. So if any of you um, are looking for a Velcro dog that will hold you at night, cuddle you, kiss you, listen to your every word and be, be right at your feet um, and just adore you and give you the most amazing love that you will want for nothing but I mean she's perfection in every way in every single way please consider opening your home and your heart to Angel please she's potty trained she's not destructive she's 100% healthy she's young three years of age she's a shepherd mommy hello this is it this is all she wants I literally was laying here last night and she was wrapped across my neck holding me holding me and I held her all night long. I woke up and she was right by my side. Obsessed in love with this baby girl. Like there are no words. So help me find her, please, guys. Help me find her, her forever mommy or daddy, because I can't take her home. Um, love you too. Love all of you. Thank you, Johnny Hill. Mama, morning, Amy and Angel. I watched the video about Alfie after work and it brought me tears. Um, Thank you. I know it was very hard for all of us. And that's why I bring you. I don't want to just, you know, have to come on here and say, guys, we had to let Alfie go. It's very important to me um, that all of you that watch, love, support our organization day in and day out and are so dedicated to us that you come along for the entire journey. Some of these, some of these, um, rides are a little a little difficult and bumpy along this journey and some of them are wonderful they're highs there's lows 
there's in-betweens. I, I try to keep you um, with us through the entire process from A to Z so you understand and never leave you questioning in your mind um, what happened to this one, what happened to that one. So Alfie, may you rest in peace and may you be running in fields of green grass and playing with other dogs. That's my hope and my dream for dogs that don't make it. Um, that's our Alfie. So with moving forward, um, I would like to give just a quick little update before I just get back to my day. Um, again, we have, um, we have a fundraiser today at Tats and Tacos from 11 to 4. Hope to see as many people there. Um, <clears throat> Sam, Sam, the one we rescued from Miami-Dade who was on death's door. Um, and you know, what does my shirt say? It says, Namaste in bed. Namaste in bed. Um, it's a little cool here, so I'm in my comfort zone right now. Um, but anyways, uh, thank you. I wanted to update. Sam is doing remarkably wonderful with our um, foster Sarah and her babies, too, which are our 100 plus rescues. Sam is 100%. She's perfection. She's dog friendly. She's potty trained. She's eating like a champ. She's playing. She's running. She's romping. Her, her incision is completely healed. She is a four-year-old Yorkie who is available immediately for adoption to the perfect forever loving home. So if you are looking for an angel baby, just like little Sam, um, please consider reaching out to us. Um, her photos will be uploaded to our website so you can get a better look at her in our Facebook page shortly. Um, we still have Isaac and uh, Sir Isaac and Cassie who are two of the most amazing dogs we've ever rescued. The love that these dogs have inside of them and they want to get under your skin. They are starving, starving. Uh, initially we wanted so desperately to keep them together um, it doesn't look like that's happening. I had a woman who was supposed to come and, um, yes, I'm sorry, Tamara, um, Angel grew up with a cat, I was told. So I believe she is cat friendly. Um, the only thing is she's very needy and very Velcro. I don't know how she will do, uh, some cats are independent and then others are, you know, attached to you. I don't know how she would be, um, with that because she wants her person. So, we have somebody that's interested in fostering Angel, but she has two cats and they are Velcro to her day and night. And I don't, thinking more and thinking through, I don't know how well that's going to work out. And I don't want to set Angel up for disappointment. So I'm not really sure um, about that, that potential. Um, let's see. Um, Isaac and Cassie, as I was stating, um, Oh, stay tuned, Leanne, for Onyx. He's doing fantastic. I'll get to him in a second. Thank you for reminding me. Um, Isaac and Cassie. I desperately wanted to keep them together, but the woman that was interested, I'm so discar I'm just disappointed. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. It was a yo-yo game, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and was supposed to be here this morning and, and yet canceled again, I think, for like the fourth time. So I'm done. I'm done. I'm not playing the game anymore. I don't have time for it. When somebody's interested in a dog, uh, they make an effort and they get there. Uh, so, so Isaac and Cassie are still available. I do have a forever home for Cassie, a wonderful previous adopter of ours. Um, but I would need, um, I would need a, a placement for Isaac, even if it's a foster, because I don't, if I, I have to separate them, I will not leave Isaac in this room alone. So, um, please keep that in mind if any of you can foster Sir Isaac, who is <laughs> Velcro beyond Velcro. It's it's like I'll be sitting in the room. He's here and I'll be trying to go on my phone. He pushes my hand away. He's in my face. He wants all your love. Um, so I need to foster desperately for Sir Isaac, who is the Chinese crested slash Zolo um, Mexican hairless. He's amazing amazing so please consider fostering him so i can get cassie in her forever home uh it'll be hard to split them up but i need to get these babies into homes i can't keep them sitting and living in these rooms um 
and then Bronnie and Chip. Uh, Bronnie was spayed yesterday. I have a wonderful woman. I think I've mentioned um, Lyrica. Uh, her name is Lyrica. She's the one that reached out to us begging for assistance to save Brownie, Chip, and the puppies. Um, so with that being said, she uh, she wants she wants them together to adopt. So I will be doing a home check. This does not mean that they are adopted. Um, so I am doing the home check. If the home check passes, then Brownie and Chip will be going home to their forever mommy very, very soon. So everything crossed on that on that note. Um, again, Angel desperately needs a loving home. Gauging the Diva, I, I don't get it. I don't understand why those two dogs are not in a home. They're living here in a room in a rescue house. It's mother and son. She's about two. He's going on seven months. They are so bonded. Please, if you do not have any other pets in your home, you have a fenced yard, um, please consider at least fostering. Let's get them out of that room, please. Um, I'm getting a little discouraged. I, I don't understand with all these amazing dog friendly dogs why there are not more people stepping up to at least foster or offer these babies forever homes. Um, I really need your I need the help of the community. I really do um, to get these dogs into homes so we can continue. We're stuck. We have no room in the rescue house. Our fosters are full. I can't take in any more dogs. So it is quite frustrating to me, especially when these dogs are all dog friendly. Some of them are even cat friendly. Why are they here? There's no reason for them to be here. I understand Albert is more challenging um, <clears throat> because he's the only pet. Um, he needs somebody that's, you know, home a lot, um, has some challenges, but he's a great dog. He's a great, great dog. So please don't close off your mind to these dogs. They need homes. I'm begging of you. In order for us to keep going and saving lives, we need to get these dogs that we currently have into homes. Um, if any of you are interested, anybody here, uh, no, we do not ship our dogs. We do not transport our dogs out of state. We will not, do not ship or transport. Um, we must have a meet and greet um, with anybody that's interested in any of our dogs, a meet and greet with any existing pets that may be in your home to make sure everybody is compatible. Um, I can't just go on, Amy, my dogs are super friendly. They get along with everybody. It doesn't work that way. We've, we've heard it a million times before. And then when they do meet, their dog was super dog friendly and our dog is friendly and their dog's trying to eat our dog and shred our dog. So not every dog that's dog friendly is compatible with every other dog. Please understand that. Um, we would not be doing our dogs any justice um, and we would we, we, are, we do our due diligence to make sure our dogs get placed in the best loving forever homes and that includes a home check. So um, that is our protocol and I hope you can understand and respect that. If you are interested and you can offer any of our rescues a forever loving home or foster home for that matter just to help out um, and give a, and avoid, you know, opening up a room for another dog in need, please reach out to us at uh, 100 100 plus P L U S abandoned dogs, D O G S at gmail.com. Also, there is a phone number 877. 506-8100. Um, we need to get these dogs moved. And then our existing dogs that we have are available. All of them are on our website. Uh, thank you, Tammy, for always keeping that website updated. Um, and, uh, and, and take a peek at, and see who is still waiting on our website that we've had for a long time. And that is uh, 100 plus abandoned dogs dot org. Um, thank you, Susan Ho. Exactly. Little Annabelle is still waiting for her home. She came in with Cassie and Isaac. She is in a foster home. She is also on our website. She is perfection. Perfection. Gail said she's amazing. Um, she's like five, six pounds and she's adorable. Okay, so I have somebody at the door. I'm going to get up. You hear, you heard that? <laughs> Did you hear the doorbell? I'm going to get up and get my day started. Ginger too. Exactly. Ginger's in foster. Kendra. 
our English. Let's get these dogs into homes, guys, please. Mommy, I'll be right back. Oh, okay, see, this is what I have to deal with. I'll be right back, Mommy. You stay here, okay? And I'll be right back. I love you. Hold on. Somebody here? Me. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I got it. No, somebody is here. Oh. I don't know who. He looks familiar. Okay, guys, I'm going to sign off. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Remember, the more you laugh, the better you live. We'll see you guys later. Oh, Onyx is doing great, has a meet and greet. We'll keep you posted. Sorry about that, Leanne.